How's it going everybody? Ed Ricker here and I have some FPV quad parts in front of me. I have two flight controllers. Uh, I have the ViFly Short Saver, which is what this video is about, and I have two LiPo batteries. Um, so they're kind of paired up here. The flight controller here has an XT60 with an XT60 battery. This one is an XT30 connection with the XT30 battery. And as we see, we have this ViFly Short Saver that has connections for both, which is really, really cool. The short saver is, in other words, a smoke stopper. And what it's going to do is it's going to cut off the current, the current flow from a power source to circuitry when plugged in, you know, in the middle. If there's a problem with your wiring, maybe you were working quick and you got your polarity wrong, maybe a little ball of solder was flicked onto the flight controller causing a short circuit, well, this thing's gonna save your day. Because otherwise, without this, and you plug this in for the first time after doing your build, this goes up in flames and smoke and it's awful and it smells bad and it's expensive. In the past, I've used smoke stoppers like this. This is an XT60 smoke stopper and I just have a regular car light bulb and that's what would turn on and deviate the current flow and you'd hope it was enough and you hope it would not turn out any amperage into your device, but more than likely it still was a little bit. Firefly will cut it out to zero amps, which is awesome. So there is both um, overcurrent and there's also short circuit protection with the Viflight short saver. It says one amp or one A and two A, and it has a little switch. You can flick it back and forth. So what we can do, first of all, we can start out at one amp, which will allow one amp of current to flow from this battery to this flight controller, or this one to this one. Uh, we can also flick it to two amps, but it's good to start at one and to allow one amp of current to flow through just to make sure everything's good to go. We can flick it to two if we need to start powering on things like the DJI air unit in our quad, which requires two, uh, two amps, or maybe some ESCs would require two amps to initiate fully. Also on the back, we have two different pairs of um, solderable pads that we can bridge. And if you look at the instructions of the short saver, the default setting uh, for the fuse trip time uh, is three milliseconds for short circuit and 10 milliseconds for overcurrent. But they say you can set longer trip times uh, for maybe larger builds. So if you were to be soldering the S pad, it would raise that to five milliseconds for short circuit or and 15 milliseconds for overcurrent. It really just depends on what you need for your build. Um, for smaller quads, like what I use, I think the, the stock, the default three millisecond short circuit and 10 millisecond overcurrent will work just fine. I'm gonna plug this in. Um, this is gonna be the way that the LiPo plugs in. We already have an indicator there and then plug in our flight controller. And it's booting up normally. Um, as normal as it can be, both of these are damaged. I don't fly with these anymore, but we'll get a light out of them. And, and what, what I'm gonna do is first show you um, that we can power on at one amp and at two amp and everything's fine, no short circuit. And I'll unplug this and we'll see what this XT30 flight controller looks like. And, and like a, you can see what I'm doing right now, I'm kind of plugging in one or the other first. And there we go. So we have our red light. That's all we're gonna get. That's not a problem for this particular test. That is a problem if I'm trying to use this flight controller to fly. But uh, so I have a soldering iron just hanging right over here. <laughs> and I'm going to intentionally bridge a few pads or do something to these uh, flight controllers to make sure that yes, indeed, there is a short in this circuitry. Um, and we'll see if the Vive Fly Short Saver saves us. I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, short the positive and negative of the battery lead. Luckily, this guy is a small battery. I really hope nothing terrible happens here. Um, all right, gonna plug this into the V5 Fly um, short saver. And switch this back. Yep, it's one one amp. And let's see what happens. Watch the red, watch for the red light on the short saver. There it is, red light. Boom. All right, now let's put the uh, short saver aside. And let's say that we never used it. We never double checked our work when we were doing our soldering. And we just touched the XT30s together. Let's see what happens. Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I can already hear the clicking going on over here. Um, wow, the XT30 just got really hot just for the momentary connections. So I'm not gonna let that burst into flames while I'm indoors, but you can see that we have a short and this caught it. 
thankfully, and it cut down the amp draw to zero, unlike some of the other smoke stoppers that we might be using or limping by with. Um, I also like the fact that I have an XC30 uh, smoke stopper now because I was going off of XT60 this entire time. All right, so here's another test. Got the battery here. I pulled back some of the shrink wrap on the uh, XT60 connectors going into the flight controller, the iFlight Twin G. I'm just gonna touch this and see what happens. There it is. All right, so that was short circuit protection. Now what we can do is unplug the battery, reset the ViFly short saver, plug it back in, and hey, it still works. Very cool. All right, well, thank you so much to ViFly for sending me the short saver. Uh, I'll be keeping it in my, uh, my drone bag for the foreseeable future because I think it's a great tool especially when you're doing field repair and you're trying to get back in the sky really quickly and you're rushing to, to build something or repair something uh, to get back to flying with your friends. I think it's really cool to be able to have something this small and this convenient on XT30 and XT60 to be saving yourself some uh, headache and heartache uh, in, you know, in your building process. So check the link in the video description to the ViFly short saver and uh, until next time, happy flying.